So what can you do with a miserable set of winder stairs that were built wrong? In this video, I'll show you options that look good on paper, but they don't work. I'll, I'll go through these because every so often people do come up with these solutions, but they are not real solutions. So I'll show you what, what's wrong with them. This is how a set of winder stairs look like. And usually what the problem is, is the length of run. Here is two squares, the length of run. Also two squares on that one. Here it's just one square on the, on the, uh, on the winder where the stair takes a turn. Come on in a little closer. There you can see that it's just one square there. Also just, just barely more than one square. There's not enough foot. Uh, there's not, uh, yeah, there's not enough foothold there. There's not enough support for the foot or place to place your foot safely without uh, being in danger of slipping. So what uh, what uh, comes up as a solution to fix this is people people say, hey, why don't we just have two steps instead of three? Two steps would make more room instantly. Let me just do this. Two, four. Six, eight, there, eight by eight. They, they say, hey, let's make two steps. Because that instantly make, creates more room there. Okay, let's get closer to it again. And it looks like that. You can see by the number of squares that here where you travel, now you have two squares. Now you have two squares there for, uh, for traveling up the stairs. And the rest of the steps are or are still there, you know, when you go up on them. However, uh, the problem with this one very simply is elevation. To illustrate what's wrong with elevation, I have a wooden model here, side by side. So we're just we're just gonna slide this whole thing out of the way, and I'm gonna take you off the tripod. So here is a set of stairs. At the moment, it's got three steps through the turn and with a with a very little run on them. So the solution to make it instead of a 30 degree turn because this is 30, 30, 30 to turn through a 90 degree corner is to have only two steps with a 45 degree turn. It, it looks good from above but it doesn't look good in elevation. This direction would be elevation here. So you go up step one, step two, Step three, so far so good. And then you have this. And then you have a double step. Because now at the at the winding, at, at the at the landing here with these two winder steps, now you have two steps to turn through the same difference in elevation. Difference in elevation meaning this. You have to go from this level to this level, and now you only have two steps to turn through instead of three. So that's why making it a single 45 degree, you know, a 45 degree turn and having only two steps doesn't work. It has to have three steps through it. Another popular option that comes up, so that uh, idea that doesn't work, number one. And idea that doesn't work, number two would be, let me just do this eight by eight square would be people tell me hey let's turn it around this way okay now that's ugly because I'm freehanding it trying to look through the camera but anyhow people would travel up this way you know now you have all the room to place your feet on you know the, the problem is eliminated you know look at all the all the room you have yeah again it works on paper looking at it this way there we turned it around it's fantastic yeah, but when you look at it from this way, you can see right away that it's retarded. You, you can't go up stairs like this, built, built this way. Okay? So, these two options don't work because of... Uh, it, it works in plan view, and looking at it this way, this way, but it doesn't work in elevation like this way. Okay? Not even close to working ever. So, uh, I just wanted to show you these two non-functional solutions to this winder star problem using this 3D model here because uh, 
Yeah, because it's uh, it's possible for me to draw a uh, you know uh, a proper view from up top and from looking at it from the side, but uh, you really need to see this in 3D to uh, connect the concepts here or to 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 see why these two options don't work. So there you have it.